Oh, hi, you're back. So last year, you saw that video, because most of you didn't even know SMU had computing and information systems. So we had a great response to that video. And somehow, the message must have gotten through. In this year's application season, we had a huge increase in applications. So the word's gotten out there that indeed SMU has computing, SMU has information systems. So what's the question this year, now that you know we exist? Now people are saying, well, we know you're here, but so what is it you really do? Okay, you do information systems, what is it really? So we've shown you in our outreach sessions, in our open house, we have this nice looking picture of our curriculum and, and you gotta go look at it on the web and all the courses are described and all the proper information is there and it's nicely structured. But the thing is, is that really the way to understand us? Nah, nah, I mean that's there and that really is the curriculum. But if you really wanna understand us, you have to look at this other picture. What's that other picture? It's about SMU information systems. We integrate IT and we integrate it with users and experience and business domains and management solutions, right? We are about innovative software applications. We're a software place. We're not a hardware place. We don't teach you about hardware. So why do we focus on the software? It's because where the smarts are. How do you put someone's intelligence into software? You know, it's the software that changes the world. It's the software that has the information, that does the analytics. We do innovative software applications, and you see these building blocks, web, mobile, analytics, cloud, cognitive computing, internet of things, smart systems. These are the things that are not only changing the world now, they're the things that will be changing the world over the next five years, 10 years, and you learn how to use these things to build innovative software applications, but we do it in a very SMU way. What do we mean by we do it in an SMU way? We do deep technology, serious computing, but we do it in context, in context. What does that mean? It means that we do it together with the software application with users and experience. And we do it together with understanding the business domain, the verticals, understanding what cost and benefits really means in a given situation, understanding how to put together the IT software solution with the business needs. And we take the innovative software and the technology, we put it together with the users and experience, we put it together with the business domains and verticals, and by verticals, and that might be things like um, health and aging, it might be things like smart nation, it might be things like uh, financial services or logistics, travel, you, you see the different examples of sectors in that little box there. And what our students do is they learn how to put this all together and they really do figure out not just how to do software, but how to put intelligence and capability into software so that when they build applications, you change an organization's ability to create business value, to bring some new service to light, to improve productivity. We have hundreds of examples of things that our students do, and they really do change the way we live, we work, we play, we learn. So think of SIS as deep computing, computer science and information systems, but in the context of people, in the context of users and experience, in the context of business domains. Now, there's one other thing that you really need to know to understand us, and it's the learning environment. The way our students learn, the culture of the learning community is every bit as important as the actual content that you learn through your major in the School of Information Systems and SNU overall. This learning by doing. We teach big ideas, we teach concept, we teach theory, but we contextualize it and we put it in a way where you can feel it, touch it, do it, make it real. And our students really like that. Project-based learning. 
most of the time it's out of the classroom. It's not during the three hours a week of lecture or interaction that you have on a particular class. It's the assignment that you do between the classes. That's where the heart of the learning happens. And students learn by trying, learn by doing. Peer-based learning. We have, what our students tell us, is a phenomenal culture of students helping students. Students who are in the same section but in different teams, they still tutor one another and help one another. And our students have this culture of, if you need help, I'll help you, because I never know when I might need help from you. So I want to give you help so I can get help. And it's this remarkable way that by teaching other students, you really learn how to do stuff better yourself. This thing about learning by doing, because we make our classes interactive, and we take time during the class sessions to do labs and to get students to try and experiment with things, there's still things that you need to cover to get the fundamentals. Students have to do that outside of class. We give you projects where you have to go beyond what we even cover in the class time. You have to learn on your own. When you go into those internships, they throw you into projects that are beyond or quite different from what we would expose you to, and our students can do it in stride because this thing about learning how to learn on your own is really a deep part of the SIS culture. So this bit about we're innovative software applications, we do it in the context of users and experience, in the context of business domains and verticals. The way we learn, our style of learning, is every bit as important as the details of um, what we're teaching you. And what we have done is we've created this really special school of information systems that does computer science, deep computing, IT, information systems, the real stuff. This is not technology light. But what we do is we fully embrace the SMU world of being about management and social. And if you want to do computer science and computing and advanced IT and information systems, but the thing that you want to do it about is people and the way people behave and what people do in management and business settings, be it private sector, public sector, what people do in the realm of the social and link computing and information systems to that management and social, that's who we are. That's what we do. This is the place to come and do that.